Hi viewers, how are you today? Today I'm gonna to do a capacity test on my iTech 120 amp hour lithium battery. I've just gotta go down and pull it out of my lithium power box out of the back of the Vigero. And we'll see what comes out of it, what goes into it after 13 months of ownership. 10 months under the bonnet and about three months in the back of the vehicle. We'll go get it and bring it up to the shed. I'll take the battery out, put the other cheap in, and then I'll capacity test the iTech World battery. There, there she is. She's out of the, um, the power box. So now I'll go grab the other battery and I'll put that in its place. Fully charged. I've just switched it on. That's just the inverter going. That's how long I've had it running for so far five minutes. It's only used 112 milliamp hours. So now I'll plug a fan in. I should plug in as power. On. It's on low. Okay, she's pulling 3.61 amps. Okay, I'll put it on high. She's pulling a four amps. Keep it going until the inverter cuts out. And then we'll see what registers on the leader. Now to speed the process up, I've got two fans going. There's one there, one there. I'll just show you where they are. Now they're not pointed at the battery, they're pointing away. Okay, there's the battery. So that's what we're drawing. Fully charged battery and we'll see what comes out of it. We've just taken out an amp hour out of this battery. Six and a half hours. And that's what we're at so far. Almost 43 amp hours has come out of the battery. Still running 6.62 amps. 7.62 watt hours, 58.1 amp hours. And it's almost been nine hours we've been running for. So I've just been draining at a steady six to seven amps. Yeah, there's no heat at all. It just feels like just normal temperature. It just feels the same temperature as anywhere else. Okay, 76 amp hours. That's what we're at, 996 watt hours. The next morning, I've just turned the fans back on and the inverter was going all through the night, drawing approximately one point, well, I think 1.3 amps. So we're up to 88.8 amp hours and there's 11.7 volts remaining in the battery. Okay, here we are guys. I've come back up to the shed. Now, the inverter has thrown the power. So I don't think there's enough voltage for the inverter to keep going to power the fans. As you see, the fan is still on, but the inverter's got the red light. I'd say the voltage is just not enough to keep it going. But there we are, we have 91.2 amp hours now what I'll do, I'll charge this battery back up now and I'll see what goes back into it. This is just to give you an idea, as my stuff, I don't know how accurate this stuff is. But there you go, I come up with 91.2 amp hours and this is the capacity of this battery after 13 months. I'll measure the power going back in now and we'll see what the go is. Just resetting all the meter. Okay, I've got it all reset. The charge is on. So we'll actually see what goes back into the battery after the charge. Okay guys, it just took nearly nine hours to charge. So eight hours, 50 minutes. 91.6 amp hours went into the battery. There 
there's the charger, she's done. So yeah, 91.6 amp hours. Um, I think this battery has uh, 96 usable amp hours. So this is after 13 months I've owned this battery. So yeah, well that's the that's the result guys. That's what I got. I've done it both ways. I, I took the power out and I put the power back in and, and the results are pretty similar in power wise coming out and going in. That's the capacity test of the iTech World 120 amp hour lithium battery. You can make your own judgment on this, but um, that's what I tested out. So that's the actual capacity is what I measured going in and out of the battery. Anyway guys, I hope this video has helped somebody out and thanks for watching. Till next time, bye, see ya.